A grim reality, thousands of Americans are killed or injured by distracted drivers every year. The National Desk, Janae Bowens, has a look at what's being done now to save lives. The pain is still fresh for Casey Feldman's family. She was killed back in 2009 by a distracted driver. She had a great sense of humor. She had tons of friends, and she was just the kind of person that you'd want to be around. And when we think of Casey, it's always a mixture of, of, of smiles and tears, of course. Her father now works to save lives from distracted driving. And he's backing the government's new put the phone away or pay campaign. The veering off the road. The driver who kills someone. The initiative includes millions of dollars in ads like these to remind drivers of the consequences of distracted driving. In 2022, over 3,000 people were killed. And it's estimated nearly 290,000 people were injured in crashes involving distracted drivers. Andrew Gross with AAA says the issue has become more prevalent over the last few years. You know, we managed to move around this country in vehicles for 100 years without using a phone. It was called driving. <laughs> Texting and social media messaging are the most dangerous because you're distracted visually, manually, and cognitively. Because we have found that often after being on the phone and talking, it takes your mind, um, you know, almost a mile of driving and able to like re-engage with the task of driving. And what might just seem like a few seconds of checking your phone could result in the loss of a loved one like Casey. Like them. So for Casey and for all of those who've been killed by distracted driving, we can do this. We must do this. April is Distracted Awareness Month. Now, over the next few days, you'll see stronger enforcement of state distracted driving laws with a main focus on drivers between the ages of 18 to 34. Unfortunately, this group is the most likely to die in distraction-affected crashes. I'm Janae Bowens for The National Desk.